Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another shoutcast, and again, this person has submitted multiple videos, and I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. I really, uh, as I said, appreciate all the content you're providing to me, and if you'd like your videos shoutcasted, continue to submit them, or if you have never submitted before, you're more than welcome to do so in the description down below. You could also reach out to me on like Discord, and I could take a look there. But nonetheless, we're taking a look at his team. Uh, he has uh, 10 battles in this video. Usually he does uh, submit 10, um, 10 battles, 10 clips, right? And uh, so two sets, but uh, we're taking a look at a little bit different, like teams are a little bit different. In this set, he's using Surfetch. The next set, he's using Escavalier. But the other two Pokemon are the same. And this Pokemon is gonna be, or this feature is gonna be on Shiny Driftplum. Taking a look at that Pokemon, this is uh, a Pokemon that has XL candies on it, he told me. Now, I don't know what level it goes up to. You could take a look at the CP, maybe you guys know. I don't know if it's level 41, 42, 43, 50. I have no idea, it's probably not 50. He may have told me, I just don't know. I don't remember. But nonetheless, uh, it does have XL candies on it. It, so Driftblim is a Pokemon that benefits from that. So you might want to consider uh, trying to collect some XL candies. I don't really know how you get Drift Blooms nowadays to get the candies. I don't know if you can hatch it. You could certainly revert your candy into it, in like 100 candy into one XL, but that is pretty expensive. Anyway, you guys get the point. Uh, so let's go ahead and start diving right into these battles and take a look. It looks like this Lapras is best buddied. I'm not sure if it's uh, benefiting from that boost or it's just has the ribbon but nonetheless taking a look at Lapras with um, legacy moveset Ice, Ice Shot Ice Beam right and then it also has Surf so Ice Beam is going to faint that Snorlax in comes the opposing Lapras it looks like that has Frost Breath okay interesting maybe it doesn't have a legacy one coming from the opponent so the opponent is going to go ahead and go for the Surf Lapras definitely going to be able to take that it's really tanky going ahead and going for a surf right now. So that surf, okay, just going to connect him, he's not doing much damage. Switching into Surfetch, Surfetch does have the Leaf Blade charging up extra energy and going for the Leaf Blade. Surfetch has a really high attack, not enough to faint the bulky Lapras, but one more counter will do so. And in comes the Machamp, but because the Surfetch farmed up extra energy, it does get to a Leaf Blade, and this will, or should KO, yeah, oh yeah, for sure, what am I talking about? So it does KO, that Surfetch does KO. So who knows, maybe this is a, a dual feature, maybe we'll have a Surfetch and a Drift Blim feature, although Surfetch is not present in the second set, but nonetheless, uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I believe this trainer told me that... Uh, you know, after he submitted this, he, he had reached rank 20 and got his ELO, which is awesome. Okay, for the next matchup, we have a positive matchup, Surfetched into that Obstagoon. They both switch Crobat into Lapras. Lapras definitely in a favorable position because it does have that Ice Attack, which is going to be super effective against Crobat. Crobat going to be able to take that Surf and go for a Charge Attack. Yeah, there's really no reason to shield. I don't imagine anything knocking out the Lapras Sludge Bomb. I, honestly, it didn't even do as much as I thought it would. I thought that would have done more. But uh, nonetheless, the Slappers is going to farm down the Crobat. Very nice. And Ice Beam is going to go into something. I didn't see what came in. I wonder. It's probably the Obstagoon, right? Yeah, going to be that Obstagoon. But Obstagoon does shield. Trying to farm down. Can another Surf come? Nope. Obstagoon is going to go ahead and go for what I assume to be a Night Slash. Yep, going to be that Night Slash. Not getting the boost, but Surfetched is coming in. Wow, Driftblim isn't even seeing any play in this battle. Let's see. So Obstagoon going for a Night Slash that is resisted by Surfetched. Surfetched going for the Leaf Plate. Will the opponent uh, commit the final shield? No, they will not. Okay, so it looks like this Obstagoon is going to go down to Surfetched. In comes Swampit. So Swampit going to be hit with a Leaf Blade. Swampit definitely has to shield this. Yeah, this game is, is over, right? So Swampit is going to go ahead and shield that. This opponent has two shields, so they could safely double shield. It looks like Driftblim is not going to see any play uh, in this battle, but that's okay. So going to shield that one, and the opponent just backs out because still had another shield. Even if Surfetch got knocked out, Driftblim, you know, could have handled it, I'm pretty sure. But okay, really great game, really fantastic gameplay, I really enjoyed that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next game. I can't wait to get that pose that that opponent has, by the way, I don't have that yet. 
But uh, it's going to be Surfetch versus Gallade. This is not a good match. I'm going to have to switch into that shiny Drift Blim. So Gallade is switching into Empoleon. Okay, so Empoleon is going to resist the Icy Wind, but the Shadow Ball is going to do a lot. So two Shadow Balls will be enough to KO Empoleon. Will the Drift Blim go for another Shadow Ball? Will it go for an Icy Wind? We'll see. But it's going to shield this Drill Pack. It might bait the Icy Wind at this point, form up for the Shadow Ball. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like he's baiting the Icy Wind, going for the Icy Wind right now. Beautiful bait, but will the opponent shield? It's double resisted. Yes, they will shield. That may have KO'd anyway. Uh, probably not because Empoleon double resisted. I don't know if that would have KO'd, but either way, gonna go ahead and shield this Drill Pack. Now switching into Surfetch to farm down. Nice play, but unfortunately that Glade comes in. But Gallade is also really squishy, so it's going to be taking a lot. If it doesn't shield, this is neutral. Going to shield that attack. Can Surfetch get to another one? No, it doesn't look like it can. Gallade throwing its energy, so that Surfetch is a little bit lucky that Gallade is giving up its energy. Because it could have farmed down the Surfetch. But I guess the opponent didn't want to risk it. In comes Drift Blimp to go for the Shadow Ball. This Shadow Ball, this has got to be enough to KO, right? I mean, Shadow Ball, oh yeah, for sure. Why am I even questioning it? Of course it is. So in comes, okay, Tangrowth versus Lapras. How does this matchup go? I mean, Lapras can definitely take a Power Whip. It could take a Rock Slide. It's going to do a lot. Going to be a Power Whip. I know Lapras can take it. It can't take another Rock Slide. But it gets to an Ice Beam. T can Tangrowth take this Ice Beam? I feel like it can't take it, so I think Lapis is going to win. Oh, it can take it, but one more Ice Shot is going to be enough to finish it off. So, uh, that could have went either way, but Lapis was able to pick it up. So, really well played. Really great game. Uh, so, let's see how the next one goes. Wow, that, that was some intense game. That uh, Because Tangrowth can do well against Lapras. If Lapras didn't have the Ice Beam, that Tangrowth would have won. Uh, so, okay, it's a mirror match. Surfetch versus Surfetch. I have seen quite a few Surfetch myself. Uh, so Leaf Blade coming out. So this Leaf Blade might be shielded. Yep, definitely going to be shielded. Is the opponent going to go for Leaf Blade or are they going to farm down? Oh, going to go for the Leaf Blade before this Surfetch can get to the <laughs> second Leaf Blade. So going to go ahead and shield this one up. And, oh, okay, another Leaf Blade coming out. You probably shield this and go for your own Leaf Blade. No, I guess not. That's a little unfortunate because he, he wasted a shield in that situation. But I guess you could just farm down if you are the Drift Blim. Trying to farm down. Does the Surfetch have Night Slash? No, Close Combat. Close Combat is going to be shielded. And, okay, farming down the Surfetch. So Drift Blim is loaded out energy. In comes this Swamp It. Swamp It is going to be hit with an Icy Wind. Uh, so, I don't know if we're going to get the shield from Swampit. We are going to get the shield from Swampit. So now Drift Bloom can safely go for the Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball is not going to be enough to KO Swampit, but it is going to do a lot of damage. And then switching out into Lapras. Okay, Lapras is going to be hit with either a Sludge Wave or an Earthquake, whatever the Swampit has. Looks like it's the Earthquake, but Lapras can tank it. And looks like it's, okay, going to be hit with another move. This is definitely, this has got to be the Hydro Cannon. Yep, going to be the Hydro Cat and Lapras again can take it. Farming up extra energy. Going to throw the Surf. Doesn't want to be hit with another move. So can't really farm it down. So let's see what's in the back. Uh, so Swamp It goes down. Okay, in comes Infernape. Okay. Uh, I mean, could have switched out maybe immediately and went for it. It has counter, right? Unless if I'm wrong, I thought it had counter. But either way, nice game. Nice win. So let's take a look at the last game featuring Surfetched. Uh, and then we're going to switch over to Escavalier in the lead. So it's going to be Surfetch versus Tangrowth. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this plays out. I mean, you can't really go for Rock Slide if you're the Tangrowth. At least I don't think you want to. But going for the Night Slash, going for the boost. Uh, I'm not going to get the Shield, not going to get the boost either. This Surfetch is absolutely going to town. Going for another Night Slash. Wow, that Tangrowth must be farming up. So Night Slash is not going to connect. Shield coming out. Getting the boost. Surfetch is definitely going to shield. Can it farm down or will we see another Rock Slide? We'll have to see. It might attempt to farm down. Another Rock Slide coming through. Surfetch does resist this, but um, you know, still doesn't really want to take it because it did get the boost, so it wants to farm down and have a lot of energy. So let's see what decides to come in. Going to be that Scizor. Okay, Scizor gonna be hit with the Night Slash. Oh, it's probably gonna shield. Let's see. Scizor gonna be hit with the Night Slash. It's got a shield. This is boosted. It's got a shield. Okay, so Scizor. It's not gonna be able to thumb down. Switching in to catch it? 
Oh, but the Surfetched saw that switch, couldn't get to the Leaf Blade in time, so Lapras does take the Night Slash, getting another boost, but going down. So that second boost didn't matter. Now it's Lapras versus Lapras. Okay, this is a long, drawn-out fight. If the opposing one has Skull Bash, no, I still don't think they could pull it out. I don't know if this... Oh, it's just going to be a Surf, so I guess they don't have Surf. Uh, they don't have Skull Bash. But this Surf coming out... So this is going to obviously not do much damage, but, um, you know, I mean, it's already, this, obviously this Lapras is ahead on health, so. We've seen this matchup before, Lapras versus Lapras is very common, so just gonna be another Surf. The opponent probably has Ice Beam as well, but Ice Beam is double resisted, so if you have Ice Beam and Surf, the move you want to go for is Surf. If you have Surf and Skull Bash, the move you want to go for is Skull Bash. But Lapras switching out into Scizor looked like, but a Surf coming through. Scizor can't really do much. Uh, so yeah, going to not KO, but it, it does get off a move. Let's see if it's Night Slash. Whatever move it is, it doesn't really matter. Going to be Night Slash. And then uh, this Lapras does KO that Scizor. And yeah, this game is over. This game is over. Lapis still throwing the attack, trying to, I don't know, play it out, I guess, but uh, it's over. <laughs> the opponent still has another move. Maybe they will faint the Lapis, but it doesn't matter because there's a Drift Bloom in the back, but or Drift Blim, but no, the Surf comes out. This will KO the opposing Lapis, so that's going to be a good game. And there we go. Okay. Great game. So, uh, yeah, that was a really good one. Let's see how the next game goes. So, here we go. We have S Cavalier in the lead and Lapras and Drift Blim in the back as well. So, we'll see how this, this one plays out. So, it's going to be S Cavalier versus Charizard. This is terrible. You have to switch out ASAP into. Looks like it's going to go into Drift Blim. So, now in comes Swamp It. Okay. Swamp It coming in. Uh, so Icy Wind coming out. I don't even know if he formed up for Shadow Ball, so there might not be a shield. No shield from that Swamp It. Swamp It's going to get debuffed no matter what. Charging up energy, making sure to throw the Hydro Cannon before another Icy Wind comes out. This Hydro Cannon is debuffed, but it still does a good amount. Another Hydro Cannon coming out. This is going to get the Drift Blim low. Does the Drift Blim decide to go for Shadow Ball, or does it go for another Icy Wind? What did it go for? It went for Shadow Ball, going for the KO. I think that was the correct play. So let's see. Yep, the shield coming out from Swamp It. Swamp It does want to win Switch. It's very important to win Switch if whoever you are, because obviously if you are the Drift Blim trainer, you don't want the S Cavalier up against the Charizard. But oh, switching out. Switching out to catch the Icy Wind. I don't know about that. He could have got... Let's see. Snorlax does catch it, but now S Cavalier can come in and avoid the Charizard. I think that was a miss... A mistake uh, just because like now the S Cavalier comes in you know that they have the S Cavalier you want the Charizard against that S Cavalier now the Charizard is not going to be against it so that's okay I mean everybody makes mistakes so nothing you can do but um, anyway superpower coming out that will KO S Cavalier and now in comes Lapras so now it looks like Lapras is going to introduce itself to the Charizard which if you're the Charizard you don't want so we'll see uh, yep, in comes Charizard. Blast Burn still does a lot. This is could be a Blast Burn. It could be a Dragon Claw Bait. You, Lapis can take it. Going to be a Blast Burn, so nice shield. Uh, Surf coming out. Going to do a lot. Not enough to KO the, the Charizard, but it does do a lot. So Charizard will shield. Nice shield. Will we see a Sack Swap from the Drift Blim? Maybe. It looks like he's trying to. They both switch out at the same time. Oh my gosh, can Swamp It farm down? Oh no, it doesn't. It throws its energy. It cannot farm down. I think if you have the Lapras, maybe you farm down and go for back-to-back -back Surfs? No, it looks like he's not doing that. Oh, he's farming up extra energy. Yeah, I mean, you could probably farm down. You'd have to take like a, an Earthquake or a Sludge Wave and then have two Surfs for the Charizard. I don't know if I would have done that. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe this is the way to go. Let's see. Is this a Blast Burn? Yeah, going to be a Blast Burn. Okay. Oh, does one Surf KO? Does one surf KO at that range? I feel like it does. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it does. It does. Okay, okay. Yeah, it does. So good play. I feel like the opponent could have won that if they didn't, you know, make that mistake in the beginning. You could have had um, Snorlax up against the Lapras, which would have been better than having Snorlax up against S Cavalier. But that's okay. It's it's fine. So let's jump into another game and see what happens. So it's going to be S Cavalier versus Swamp It. Okay. I've seen this matchup plenty of times. Uh, so it looks like Escavalier is bailing into Lapras. Out comes, okay, Emboy. Emboy, yeah, Emboy? Yeah, okay. I don't know what moveset it has, but it's really cool to see. 
So Surf going to do a tremendous amount of damage. What move set is that? I don't even know what move that is. Emboy is going for the move. Uh, Rock Slide. Okay, Rock Slide would have been super effective. Lapras correct, correctly shielding, I guess. I mean, it probably could have taken that. I don't know Emboy's stats. I never looked at it before. So I, I'm not really familiar with it. But Emboy goes down. Wow, that's very interesting. Out comes... Okay, Gardevoir. Very cool Pokemon. So Surf is coming out. The Surf... We'll do a pretty good amount of damage. It's not going to KO, of course, but it's going to do a good amount. God of War does shield that up. God of War might attempt to farm down. No, going to switch into Swampin'. So, okay, Lapras going to go ahead and go for the Surf right now. Just getting off as much damage as possible. I mean, this Lapras already did what it had to do and then some, you know. So, Swampin' is going to go ahead and go for the Hydro Cannon. Uh, that Hydro Cannon definitely enough to KO. What do you bring in? Looks like the Drift Blim is coming in, so this Drift Blim going to be able to take this Hydro Cannon, but it does decide to shield, not wanting to take it. So, okay, there goes the Hydro Cannon. And another Hydro Cannon coming out, no shields left, so this Drift Blim has to take this one. I uh, couldn't get to an Icy Wind in time, it looks like it's going for... Okay, going for the Icy Wind, it makes sense. Uh, so let's see if the Swamp it decides to shield this. Uh, Yep, going to go ahead and shield it. It really wants to get to another Hydro Cannon. No, going to switch into God of War. God of War will be catching this Icy Wind. Nice shield from... Or oh, not nice shield, but nice switch from the opponent. In comes Escavalier. Escavalier does resist those charms. Uh, doesn't look like it, but uh, Synchronoid is coming out. Oh, that's resisted as well. Uh, so Escavalier might attempt to farm down. Yeah, it's definitely going to farm down. Able to farm down. Has loaded energy. Able to go for the Mega Horn. That's going to seal the deal. And this Mega Horn is going to be enough to KO that Swamp It. So, good game. Good game. Yeah, sometimes when I do these like, longer videos, like 25, 30 minute videos, like... Uh, you know, I, I don't know, it's kind of, it's not difficult to talk, honey, but I'm talking a lot, so I might I might talk a little bit fast, I might stumble over my words here and there, but, you know, we'll get there. Anyway, Escavalier versus Empoleon, beautiful situation for the Escavalier. Escavalier will go for the Drill Run. Looks like this Empoleon is deciding to stay in, very interesting. Drill Run going to be shielded. If you're the Escavalier, you definitely shield this, and you continue to go for counter. Um... Can you farm down two, three, four? No. Uh, okay, he's attempting to farm down. The S Cavalier could have thrown the drill run before the hydro cannon came out and not had to burn that shield, or have taken the last shield and then used their last shield as well. So all shields would have been off the table, but that's okay. Um, this S Cavalier now is loaded on energy, so I think that was actually a good play as well. You could have went either way about it. So going to pick up the shield. Oh, can't get to another one. Charge attack coming through. Does Leaf Blade KO? It has to, even though it's double resisted. No! Not KOing. Mega Horn would have been super effective, but I guess the S Cavalier was afraid he couldn't get to it, or the trainer was afraid they couldn't get to it. Totally understandable. Uh, so this Bullet Seed... Oh my god, actually goes for another one, can get to another one. I cannot believe he made another one. So able to go for a Drill Run against the Lolan Muck. Amazing. In comes Lapras. I cannot believe he made another one. I know, I know Escavalier is double resisting the grass attacks, but oh, that is crazy. So Lolan Muck going for that Sludge Wave, doing a lot of damage. This Lapras is charging up enough for two Surfs, going for one. I believe this ends Alolan Muck's time on the battlefield. Yep, going to faint the Alolan Muck. In comes Sceptile, cannot click on that move. Leaf Blade is probably enough to KO, it's super effective. It is a powerful move coming from Sceptile. Actually, it's not enough to KO, barely living on with one HP. And this Surf does connect and knock out that Sceptile, so Able to win that game. That was a really cool game. I really enjoyed that one. Uh, so let's move on. Let's see how the next game goes. Yeah, that was a really good one. I really enjoyed that one. Okay, so we have the next opponent. So let's see how this one goes. So again, we know it's Escavalier versus Leafeon. Okay, well, this is a good situation for the Escavalier because it is resisting grass attacks, double resisting them, as we talked about last battle. So, I think it only has leaf attacks. Yeah, going for leaf blade, Escavalier can eat that up. So, uh, or, okay, you're going to switch into Gengar. Gengar is double, not double, but Gengar is weak to drill run. Escavalier is going to shield this. So, it could go for basically back to back drill runs. I believe it actually could have taken that shadow punch, but Escavalier is pretty squishy, so not wanting to risk it. Uh, so, going for drill run number one. 
go in for drill run number two. And will the final shield come out from the opponent? Maybe. Yeah, going to shield, and now the S Cavalier switches into Lapras. So, okay, hopefully this Gengar does not have Focus uh, Blast. Probably not, but let's see. Going to be another Shadow Punch. It could, it could have Focus Blast. It could have Sludge Bomb. It could have Shadow Ball. But this should only be another Shadow Punch, I believe. Yeah, going to be another Shadow Punch. Uh, so Lapras can eat that up. And going to go ahead and go for the Surf right now. The opponent is out of shields. Keep that in mind. So this Surf will definitely connect. Almost KOing Gengar. Gengar switches out to Leafeon. Okay. Might have to shield if it wants to go for the Ice Beam. No, not going to shield. Going to allow the Leaf Blade to connect. That will knock out the Lapras. In comes Driplim. Driplim, another wall to grass attacks. So let's see. Going to be another Leaf Blade? Yeah, going to be a Leaf Blade. Driplim can definitely easily take this. Um, did more than I thought, actually, but... Uh, okay, Driftblum charging up extra energy, able to take another Leaf Blade. I mean, he does not want to shield, I'm telling you. Does not need to shield. Gonna be able to take it. Uh, no, you're not gonna farm down, so gonna go ahead and go for the Icy Wind. So this Icy Wind definitely KOs the Leaf Fion, but Driftblum does have another one ready to go. So let's see what decides to come in. Oh, Dragonite. Oh, is that a shadow? That's a shadow Dragonite as well. This Icy Wind is probably just going to KO. It has to KO. Yeah. No, it doesn't KO. Lag? Oh, my God. Look at, look at that lag. Uh, look at that lag. <laughs> that's unfortunate. So, Dragonite is going to knock out Driftbloom. Out comes Escavalier to faint the Dragon. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like, he still wins, right? Because you could shield this. I think he still wins. I mean, that Gengar doesn't have... I know... No, he, he still wins. Yeah, he, he still barely wins that. Holy cow. That lag almost cost him. That lag almost cost him. That was really, really unfortunate. <laughs> but uh, it happens to all of us, though. It's really unfortunate. You hate to see it, right? But either way, he still won that because he was in a good position. So as Cavalier versus Charizard, you hate to see it. You got to bail immediately into that Drift Blim. So Drift Blim coming in. Charizard going to switch into Sceptile. What does Sceptile have that could hit Driftbloom? It has Earthquake, it has Leaf Blade? Going for Leaf Blade, that may have been a misclick because you don't want to switch into a Sceptile against a Driftbloom. But, okay, again, it may have been a mistake. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and shield that. More lag, more lag. Another Leaf Blade coming out. The Sceptile might actually beat this Driftbloom because of that lag. Let's see. But Driftbloom going to be able to take that. Okay, looks like he's going for another charge attack. Going for the Shadow Ball. So this Shadow, I mean, Sceptile is so squishy. Uh, it doesn't KO, but Hex will. So it does KO after that. In comes Swampit. Maybe he meant to switch into Swampit. Uh, so Icy Wind coming out. So this Icy Wind is going to be shielded. Totally fine. And Swampit charging up extra energy. Going for the Hydro Cannon. Probably has back-to-back -back Hydro Cannons. So the Drift Blim will shield one of them. And go for... Okay, going for the sh no a charge attack coming through. Driftbloom is going to shield because it wants to get to the shadow ball. So going to go ahead and shield that and go for the shadow ball. So okay, and the shadow ball will connect, doing a lot of damage. Switching out into Lapis. Lapis does take a lot from Blast Burn, but as we've seen, it can survive it. So going to go ahead and take. The oh, going to be a Dragon Claw. Okay, maybe he didn't think he could make the Blast Burn. Maybe he couldn't. I don't know. But in comes Swampit. Yeah, this is a, a good game. I mean, the Slapress is going to be able to, to win. Well, let's see what attack this is. Going to be that Earthquake. Going to do a lot, uh, for sure. But this Ice Beam coming out. So, okay. This is going to do a decent amount of damage. And it looks like this uh, Swampit will be able to beat the Lapras. But uh, the Pokemon in the back should be able to handle I mean, this, this Swampit is so low. Uh, actually surviving that and getting off another Surf Bally. No, Lapis actually is going to be able to beat that uh, Swampin. That's going to be it for this one, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.